Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making stuffed acorn squash. Go ahead and preheat your oven for 25 Fahrenheit. I have five acorn squash that vary in size from small to large. So go ahead and cut the stems off. You wanna make sure that you don't get inside the cavity. You can also, if you want, you can get inside the cavity if you wanna have them facing up. I'm doing mine lengthwise. Go ahead and scoop out all the seeds and place them down on your parchment paper. A little bit of oil. Um, make sure you use a baking sheet because there will be um, liquids that come out. Go ahead and oil these bad boys up inside and out. When that's done, feel free to put some salt inside. So after you did that, make sure they're all facing down so that way steam can get inside the cavities and they can get nice and tender. Go ahead and just pop them in the oven for about 30 minutes. Mind you, you can make these however you want. I just used whatever I had floating around in my house and just bought some meat. So I'm using Uncle Ben's Long Grain and Wild Rice. You can use whatever type of rice that you like, white, brown rice, um, couscous if you want. And you can add some berries, you know, um, like cranberries or whatever you, you're feeling. So I don't have any of that in here today. Just Long Grain, Brown, White, Rice. So get your, I am aware that I put a wrong burner on as well. So make sure you get another pan nice and hot. My rice is going to cook for 20 minutes. So now that my pan is nice and hot, I put a little bit of oil in it and I, my preferred for this meal is going to be sausage. I use two pounds. They, um, one is sweet sausage and one is mild Italian sausage as well. Um, so yeah, so once your rice gets boiling, like mine, just make sure you put a cap over it. Follow the instructions. Mind you, you can make this however you like. So, um, I have no actual set, um, amount of ingredients. So go ahead, I'm cutting up two onions right here, and, um, I'm going to be, like, cooking them over low heat to make caramelized onions. I would definitely recommend doing this way before doing anything else, um, Onions, you want to slow cook for a long time to get them nice and sweet and caramelized and not burn. But if you're running low on time, go ahead and just heat up a pan on maybe like low medium with a little bit of water and just constantly keep an eye on them, stirring them because you don't want them to burn. And with your meat, if you're using meat at all, you don't have to. This meal could be totally vegan if that's how you wanted it to be. Um, just make sure your meat is cut up nice and small. You don't want to have massive hunks in there, I guess, unless you're going for like a meatball style <laughs> um, acorn squash. So go ahead and um, chop up your meat, get those onions going, and mine is on like medium low to low heat. So I have some red beans and some chickpeas that I found in my cabinet. That's what I'm going to be using. So just make sure you drain them out well. My rice has finished, so go ahead and fluff yours if it has too. And don't forget about your onions. So like I said, I don't have any set amount of food that I use. I don't no, no portion so I'm going to be having tons of leftovers that I will be using for other food and um, to make some more acorn squash because I didn't use them all up in this video and after you get all this rice poured into a big bowl you want to just um, the red kidney beans and uh, your chickpeas just go ahead and throw them into the rice pot we use the rice pot so that way you don't have to do it dirty another dish Go ahead and throw your meat into the bowl. I usually just throw a little bit in at a time so that way I can get a feel of what I think looks good. Pull your squash out of the oven if it's finished. Um, you don't really wanna have to cook the beans so that way they're mush. Just warm them up a little bit if you like. Go ahead and throw those into the pot. I threw them all in. Like I said, I didn't care how much I have in my bowl. Just, hey, I'm going to have a ton of extra. So with some leftovers, I added some tomatoes, homegrown corn, and the sauteed caramelized onions. Doesn't look good. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, some cheese so that way it can melt inside. And 
and then after I get all this mixed together, I'm going to throw them all into um, my squash and just pack them nicely. And then once that has completely finished, um, you know, go ahead and just throw them back in the oven for about um, like about 20 minutes. I think that would be good. All right, that's it for this video. And guys, this came out so good. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried it or recreated your own. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you've enjoyed it, or share it with somebody else who might actually enjoy it. Thank you for watching.